Good morning, everybody. Paige and Chuck here in Cha Am, Thailand. Oh. We stayed right here last night. <clears throat> I don't know the name of it. It'll be in the description box as usual. You can just click on the little link and it'll put you right here. We went out with our friends last night. I had a little bit too spicy food though, I think. It yeah. Had a, Keep you up. Yeah. I needed to get some good sleep last night because we didn't sleep well the night before. Like, really not at all. So, mm -hmm. anyway, enough complaining. We have a full five hour drive uh, this morning or today. We're headed to Karat. Uh, you know, it, the drive's always funny in in Thailand, but had a good time here in Cha'am last night. That mm -hmm. wasn't too bad. The weather is not good here right now, but <clears throat> it's still nice and clean here. It's really, it's low season, so Cha'am is very, very quiet during this time of the year. <laughs> Except the hotel. <laughs> yeah, the hotel's always Thai style loud. Mm -hmm. A lot of Thai people love to come to Cha'am, especially on the weekends. I uh, travel from, from Bangkok and it, they like to have a good time too, I know, but they're not really... They are <laughs> early people, so in the morning it's loud. <laughs> I'm going to say they're not really courteous to people around them, like they're not really concerned. Or maybe Thai people just don't care either, I don't care yeah. if they're loud or it's only me, huh? Mm -hmm. No, they don't. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes they're just over the top, like really loud. And you know, you're thinking, you know, you, you have a neighbor here. Why don't you just, cut? it's a hotel, like people sleep here, you know? But anyway, that's my <laughs> expectation, I guess, right? <laughs> of how a hotel should be, but not in Thailand. Anyway, it's a lovely place. They had a van full of people next to us last night. <laughs> We're headed back to the same hotel in Karat that we always stay. Nice big room, not comfortable bed, but the room is good. We're gonna try to go back to that same place in the mall. Yeah. You hunt it, we kill it place? We cook. Something you like that. We cook, not kill. Oh yeah, they cook, <laughs> not kill. It was already killed. <laughs> I'm delusional at the moment. Anyway, guys, good morning. My dirty truck. The bed's really comfortable here. Mm -hmm. Normally when we come here, we go out to the water and have breakfast, like rice soup, you know, porridge type stuff, pan fried egg or something. Kinda late today. But it's what, nine o'clock? No beer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, I think it's almost 10. Yeah, it's 9.47. Actually, we're kind of really late. <laughs> Oh, we still have the jerky. We got yeah. that. We're giving that to uh, mafias yeah. for their beer snacks. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to eat on the road. Let's talk a little bit about adapting to Thailand. There, there's one word you're going to find yourself hearing and saying a lot. Uh, if you're already here or if you're coming here is the word I don't understand. I don't understand. But I think we say this word, I don't understand, not that we actually don't understand, is that we don't understand why they don't understand. <laughs> it's, we expect them to kind of know things as we know. We spent a lifetime of seeing stuff and learning things and uh, I guess becoming experts in our environment and how to manage our life. And then when you come to places like this I don't understand <laughs> so I think that's our biggest problem here is we expect things to be as we know them and it makes it just it's, a, it's our hand it's our handicap actually to expect that and I and it it's probably a never-ending thing and you're never gonna get through that but uh, we have to stop and think, okay, this is the way it is because this is not America. This is Thailand and this is how they do it here. And we have to take that in consideration all the time and stop handicapping ourselves into expecting it to be <laughs> the, way, the way we want it to be, especially driving in, in Thailand. Driving can be very dangerous, especially if you only 
think of it as how you expect it to be, you know? When you expected that guy to stop at that stop sign, or you expected that guy to stay in his lane, or you expected that guy to yield for you, so that, that could kill you <laughs> in Thailand. And you know, and if you run your mouth sometimes to people because you expect them to act a certain way, it could be dangerous that way too. So anyway, I gotta pack. Hmm? I have to pack up. <laughs> so. yeah. Yeah. You might step on it. It's a lot of snails. Mm -hmm. They try to sleep in it, baby. <laughs> we're out of here here's one problem that i have and i always have a difficult time getting through this it's with food i enjoy eating food as you can tell thai food is not good Paige is dropping the key off i didn't forget her uh, Thai food is not good plain. Certain foods like um, Chinese food, stuff like that. Some Thai dishes, but mostly, mostly Thai food is a little spicy and that's how I enjoy it. So as a foreigner here, they expect us all to be the same they expect us to act the same eat the same know the same everything is the same with a foreigner they just don't have enough experiences with all the foreigners around the world just the, mostly the ones that come to thailand i think we're all like europeans because that's mostly what comes to thailand you know australians europeans but you guys don't really eat spicy food for the most part. So anyway, Thai people think that that's basically, uh, so here's my problem is that I like to have a little bit of spicy food. So I tell them in Thai, so that way they know that I really can't eat spicy because I've been here a little while and I can say a few words. So they make it too spicy every time. Here's the thing about food in Thailand. You just, <laughs> get the dish if there's something you don't want on it just take it off unless you're allergic to something then you then that's your challenge you know that's that's going to be a problem for you but um if if you ask for a change on the menu item it becomes like a total chaotic nightmare for them i don't know why but it's like the world has become unbalanced and they don't really understand quite how to to walk again so <laughs> that's my problem with spicy food is it gets too spicy because I want it. I just tell them in Thai, look, I just want it spicy, normal, not Falang spicy, normal, but Thai person <laughs> spicy, normal. And then it comes out way too spicy. And anyway, that's, that's a big problem here with, with ordering stuff. We, where we come from we can change up the menu or we can say i don't want this or i don't want that or can you add this and then it's no problem but here it's just not like that in most places unless you're in an area that caters to foreigners um, yeah but if you find a good restaurant that you like just stick with it you know because they'll usually you know if you tip good and you're a nice person and you're not complaining all the time <laughs> they'll take care of you but uh, don't expect to uh, to have it your way here in Thailand. And carry a lot of Tums. Bring Tums. A lot of Tums. I know I have it. They're at home. I can't wait. Yeah. Alright, we're out of here. Seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Look, I try not to come off like a know-it-all. I really do. I just really kind of just sharing thoughts with you guys most of the time in and, and kind of a funny way. I'm very sarcastic and kind of like very plain in my words, so it sounds like I'm complaining a lot. It's just my personality. 
but uh, I'm not really telling you guys that this is how it's going to be because I will, I will tell you this, everything in life, no matter where you're at, really depends on you. It re really depends on your attitude and what you expect it to be. So I'm just trying to kind of coach you a little bit and let you know here is so different and it can really, really be bad if, if you don't kind of try to, you'll see what happens when you come and just, just kind of think about what I said and, and realize what direction you want to go, whatever the situation is. You can make it better or you can easily make it worse, but you're not going to win. <laughs> you're not going to win in Thailand. You're the only one that's going to be, you're not going to win the battle, the argument. You're not going to convince them that this is the way it needs to be. It's just not going to happen. So just work around it <laughs> mentally and uh, you'll be fine. You just got to laugh at it. Klaus taught me that. Klaus taught us, well, Paige is always kind of neutral about stuff, but Klaus is like, it's always like, it, whatever happens, it's going to be funny. Like we just laugh it off. It's funny. Uh, we had a funny time here. You know, you didn't get your shit right, but it was funny. We've had a lot of funny times together me, Paige, Klaus, and Thune traveling. I mean, stuff that would just probably drive people mad. But we've just laughed it off and had, it was so comical how things just went crazy. <laughs> Not the way that we wanted it. But because we just laughed it off, it didn't end up being a good time. So just remember that. Some people don't know how to have a good time. I've met a lot of people in Thailand that think I'm just a quack. <laughs> But they're just, they're, a lot of them are just not happy people. Like, they don't want to be happy. They want to be catered to. You know, it's their time to be retired. They come over here and they just demand performance, you know. But that's why they're cranky old men. Because it's not going to happen for them. I get cranky sometimes. I have what's called a uh, old man moments. <laughs> I can't help it sometimes, but it's just, we can't change who we are, but we need to try to learn how to adapt as best as we possibly can. Let's drive. I'm trying to keep myself, we got a long drive, so I'm going to try not to just keep having these random lectures for you. I just missed another stop. <laughs> that was the big stop, actually. Yeah. We need to stop and get, hey, there's McDonald's. We need to stop and get some something light. I need to get something light. Paige will probably get some flaming hot crap over rice. I'm not sure. Okay. It's funny, we traveled all over Krabi and uh, Renong. And I've wanted, been craving hot yai chicken. And here it is right here. But I can't eat it right now. Dry squid. Dry squid. Yeah, but you don't want to put that in the truck. They sell that all over the place. They sell it there. Does she need to have it from out here? It's the same shit, right? Just get her some in top of home and tell her you got it. Here. Whatever. As long as it's sealed in the bag, that stuff stinks. Look, there's some some oil. Squirrel in a cage? She got a squirrel in that little bitty cage. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, this place here is not busy at the moment. There's a lot of food here. Well, we got a dish called Kalmangai. Pretty popular in Singapore too, but I, I just wanted rice soup, so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna make. <laughs> I'm gonna make rice soup right now. Mm -hmm. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never. I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of 
Well, stopping to get some fuel. We're gonna take the toll road. I was gonna go around nine and skip all the construction, but it's actually a little quicker to get through the construction, get on the toll road, and, uh, and just head that way. Fuel price has gone down. 31 baht now for regular uh, diesel. Well, mid-grade diesel. That's the first Cobra Shelby Mustang I've seen in Thailand. I didn't get a good picture of it, but that's got to be very expensive in Thailand. Very expensive. <coughs> We still have coughs a little bit, just kind of like a scratchiness, right? The back of the yeah. throat. It's like sometimes with the AC. Oh, well, the air conditioning really does it, yeah. I talk a lot when I'm tired. Um, when I drink too much, I'm very quiet. When I'm angry, I don't speak at all. <laughs> but uh, I want to say we are planning a really big trip with george and cat we really like george and cat they're very modest people they don't think too much george and cat do not care what anybody thinks about them um yeah they're, they're, they're very cool to hang out they don't care because we don't care either they don't care what anybody thinks or whatever it doesn't it's not our problem it's your problem they got a dang most store here we got to stop here and get some snack but we're planning a big trip with them here coming up. I don't want to really kind of spoil it at the moment because we haven't paid for it yet. But uh, we are planning a big trip with them. I like this one. It's nobody here. All right, let's look around PTT because that's what we do on the No Time to Be Sad channel. We go to 7 Eleven and buy crap. <laughs> PTTs are very cool stops in Thailand. When you guys come here, or I'm sure most of you already have been here or are here, you know that. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. video today my worst case scenario just happened we're on our way back to Prantua we're on the other side of Bangkok and something really bad happened to mom I, we have to go back I'm gonna end today's video uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow I'll keep you updated tomorrow I don't know what's going on but yeah